Hello everyone, I am here. I'm back with another Tasty Tested and I had asked you guys in the community tab which kind of recipe I should test out next and the overwhelming majority of you guys wanted to see the jiggly pancake. And I don't blame you, I'm pretty excited about it. So I thought today we would test it out, see how easy it is to follow the instructions that Tasty presented, see what it tastes like, see if I can even make it jiggly, who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and make sure you check out all of the other Tasty Tested videos that I have done. I will link them at the end of the video in a playlist and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday and without further ado, let's get into this. I'm excited, I'm making pancakes. What a day. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is it looks like I need to mix in the egg yolks, which I have two of here. Bloop feel very fancy when I do this, by the way. Mix the two egg yolks with a quarter cup of sugar and go and mix that together because they seem to stop at this point and mix. So we're gonna do that. Now we add half a cup of milk to that and then mix again. And then to that, we are adding in three quarter cup of pancake mix because tasty would be tasty if they didn't take shortcuts. Pour it into a very large bowl, they say. Hopefully this is large enough. Then we're gonna whisk it together until no lumps are remaining. Very clear instructions, got it. And now that this is nice and smooth, we're gonna go on to the egg yolk, not the egg yolk, the other one, the egg white. And this is how you get that nice fluffy consistency. You're gonna take the four egg whites right here and you're gonna blend them. Oh my gosh, is that a shell in there? Oh, aha, got it, get out of here. So I'm gonna take my little whisk here and we're gonna blend this until it's nice and fluffy. This is as far as it goes, by the way. That looks way over there, sorry. Let's see if I can blend with my left hand. So apparently it doesn't have very good control. Stuff is going everywhere. I'm very messy when I bake. Here we go, people. We got the stiff peaks going on. That is what it will look like. So now we need to fold this into the pancake batter. So now I'm gonna take these egg whites here and I'm going to dump them in like fluffy clouds. What you're gonna do is you're going to lift it and fold it. And you wanna turn the bowl as you're doing it because you don't want to deflate these egg whites. So you wanna keep them as intact as possible until everything is like just combined. So now that my batter is basically like just combined, now we get into the fun stuff. So I have these little molds that the pancake batter is going to go into and that's what's going to help create that perfect little like fluffy pancake shape. And these are spring form, by the way. I just couldn't find any like regular molds. And I got these at Michael's in case anyone's interested. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these into a pan that is starting to heat up a little bit. Um, they have like a nonstick coating to them already, which is good. And also they're spring form, so they shouldn't stick. That would be weird. Okay, onward to the stove. So I have my pan here and I have the three little molds here um, and they all fit in the pan nicely. I am gonna do one. First, just to, you know, test it out. Then I have to cover it with a lid, so I will do that after. Um, but first things first, I need to fill this up three quarter full and have the heat setting on like basically the lowest possible. Fill it up to the three quarter mark. All right, and then I have to put a lid on it and let it sit here for 15 minutes. It's a long time to make a pancake, but we're gonna do it. Okay, timer just went off after 10 minutes. Now I'm going to take this guy, flip him. Let's hope this goes well. It has risen a lot though. I see why they say only fill it three quarters of the way up to the top. Alrighty, I'm gonna flip it. Oh no! Doesn't feel like it's done. This is gonna end poorly for me. Because it's sinking down, I'm gonna say I'm just gonna leave it on for a little bit longer. Maybe my stove is different than Tasty's, but that to me is not done. All right, put it on for another three minutes. Hopefully now it is done. Oh my gosh, it's like sinking into the middle. Ah! Um. Oh no! Ugh. Disastrous. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. We're trying to like just save this little pancake guy just so I could eat it. It looks like scrambled eggs though. So this time for round two, I am greasing the pan a little bit more and I turned up the heat um, just a bit more. Not like entirely like lowest, but like medium low. And we'll see if this time works. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes now. We'll see 
if this one is flippable. Looks really good. Nice and fluffy. Please be flippable. Please be flippable. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? It didn't cave. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know if I can flip this properly. One, two, three. <laughs> I got really aggressive there. But look, look, it's the pancake. Yay! Now I'm gonna leave it covered for another five minutes and then it should be done. Okay, so I think this is now done. So now I'm gonna transfer it to a plate and see what it looks like. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so now I have this on a plate. We're gonna take it out of its little spring form pan and we're gonna see if it jiggles. I'm excited. Stuck. Give me my pancake. All right, everyone. Ta-da! Okay, it's not the prettiest, but look, it jiggles a, a little, it doesn't really jiggle. Like the slightest amount, if you really shake the plate. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Let's taste test this. Let's see if it tastes any good. All right, so let's put a little bit of butter on it and maple syrup because, you know, that's what they recommended. So might as well. Awesome, pancakes for dinner. Oh my gosh, look at that bite though. Oh yeah, that is fluffy. All right, and the taste test. It doesn't quite taste like a pancake, but it is very good. It definitely has more of like an eggy type flavor to it, but it's definitely very pancakey. I would say for me, it's a little bit on the fluffy side. It's almost a little too airy for my tastes. I like pancakes to be a little bit heartier, I guess. Um, but like that being said, it is still good. I mean, it is a pancake. But there were a couple things that I feel like needed to be changed with this recipe. For one thing, I think that the temperature needed to be a little bit higher so it could cook all the way through. Um, and then the other thing is they mentioned nothing about greasing the pan at all, just about greasing the ring that you put the pancake batter into. So I think that's something else that needs to be said because that is a very important step. Otherwise, I think it's kind of cool. It was fun to play around with it and I finally got to test it out, which I'm very excited about. Let me know, have you guys ever made this before? Did you like it? Did you not like it? If there's any recipe out there from Tasty that you guys want me to try next, leave it in the comment section below or if you see a comment with a recipe that you guys want to see next, give that comment a big thumbs up and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.